Electrical Machines, Part 2, C2. Synchronous Motors, Operating Characteristics and Applications. This is the second part of Topic 2 in the series of AC machines. In this topic, we continue our discussion on operation and characteristics of synchronous motor from Part 2, C1. In this part, we will be discussing the effects of changing field current and load on synchronous motor operation. Also, we will explore their applications as synchronous condensers for power factor correction, effect of field current change. Firstly, we figure out the relation between IF and EA. We know that flux phi of the rotor depends directly on supplied field current IF, while internal generated voltage EA is equal to K times phi times omega. Here, K is machine constant that depends on the number of turns of machine, while omega is rotational speed of the motor. These two quantities are constant, so EA will depend directly on changing flux phi Similarly, EA is directly proportional to IF as phi depends on IF. So now, to understand the effect of field current IF with reactive power change of synchronous motor, the active power P will be kept constant, which is given as P is equal to 3 times V phi times EA times sine of delta whole over XS. And P is equal to 3 times V phi times IA times cos of eta. Hello everyone, Abdurrahman here from Alumiax Engineering. To learn more and to continue sharpening your technical skills, visit our website at alumiax.com slash learn. Here, delta is the angle between EA and V phi and beta is the angle between V phi and IA. While excess synchronous reactants and V phi stator voltage have no effect with change in field current. From the equations we can see that to keep active power constant, EA sine delta and IA cos theta should be kept constant. When the field current IF is increased, EA increases since we have to keep EA sine delta constant, so EA will be increasing along this plane, angle delta will decrease. In addition to EA, remember we have to keep IA cos theta constant. So on increasing IF, IA will increase along this plane and angle, theta will also change. As you're watching this video, we hope you find it useful and engaging. General Pat creates video tutorials so people like you can learn about power systems easily and efficiently. So become our patron, get exclusive perks, and we can't wait to see you on the other side. Let's assume the synchronous motor is in lagging condition first, having EA1 and IA1 as armature voltage and armature current. Increasing IF increases EA from EA1 to EA2. However, IA value decreases from IA1 to IA2 and power factor changes from lagging to unity. Now, what will happen if we keep increasing IF value of IA increases from IA2 to IA3 and IA4, which means that the synchronous motor will now be providing reactive power, that is the leading operation condition have been achieved. From the discussion we can summarize the operation of synchronous motor as when the field current is not enough to produce the required air gap flux, the motor begins to draw reactive power from the AC source and is said to be operating at lagging power factor and thus said to be under excited. If the field current is more than the normal field current, this excess amount of field current produces excess flux. This results in supplying reactive power to the AC source, and motor in this case is said to be operating at leading power factor, and thus said to be overexcited. Now, what happens if the field current is sufficient enough to produce the air gap flux? In such case, the magnetizing current or reactive power required from an AC source is zero. The motor is said to be operating at unity power factor, and excitation is sufficient. This discussion can be summarized from the table as in lagging power factor, the motor run in underexcited mode that is EA cos delta is less than V phi, while in leading power factor, the motor run in overexcited mode that is EA cos delta is greater than V phi, and in unity power factor, the motor run in normal excitation mode that is EA 
cos delta is equal v phi. Now let's discuss the effects of load changes on synchronous motor. Increasing the load slows down the motor, initially due to which the torque angle delta between Ea and v phi increases and the induced torque increases. This increase in torque causes the motor to speed up and to rotate at synchronous speed again, but this time with larger angle delta. Since speed is constant, so magnitude of Ea will be kept constant as the load changes. As the load increases, the distance proportional to power that is Ea sine delta uh, and I cos theta will increase, but the magnitude of Ea will swing down in this plane. Increasing load more and more, armature current Ia also increases. Application of synchronous motor. Let's talk about an application of synchronous motor that is synchronous condenser. When synchronous motor is operated in an overexcited mode that is Ea cos delta is greater than V phi at no load condition and supplying reactive power to the system. Then such a motor is also known as synchronous condenser. They are connected to generating substation for power factor improvement, similar to as capacitor bank. One thing to keep in mind there is that overexcitation can cause overheating in motor's windings, so careful operation is required. That's all about synchronous motors. In the next video, we will study about single phase capacitor start motors. We hope that you have a continued interest in this topic and in this series as either a student or a professional. We hope that you find this content useful and enlightening. Please consider subscribing to our channel and support us by becoming a patron on patreon.com slash generalpath. Generalpack.com, making power systems intuitive, open and free to everyone, everywhere. Thank you.